Hello, Trev here. We're playing a song called The House of the Rising Sun today, which is by The Animals and Hilton Valentine um, passed away today, who was the guitarist who made the iconic riff. It's one of the most famous guitar riffs um, in the world. It was one that I learned when I was a teenager and it's still extremely popular today. It'll be around for a long time. So um, let's have a little look at it. And so first of all, the chords you'll need are A minor, C, D, F, and I suggest using the F that he uses, so the F like um, a kind of, well I call it a squashed up C for some of my students, and E. So the sequence you'll need goes A minor, C, D, F, A minor, E, A minor, E. Okay, for the picking, so he's using his plectrum and he's picking a note and then doing a little kind of sweep down and then a sweep up. So just try doing that a few times on any, any chord. So kind of a, a falling down and in fact it's picking up. For the F, he's not really picking those lower strings, which is why he's not using the bar chord. So like I say, in the, in the photo, um, he's actually doing it like that live. Okay, so he's not really worrying himself with a, with a full F bar chord. So as a little exercise, you could just try that on each, um, on each chord. Um, some of my students like using their fingers and actually this, translates quite nicely um, onto your fingers and um, quite tricky I think it's a bit easier with a plectrum Um, there is a solo as well, so if you want to on the solo section, you could just play C major or A minor, which is the, the key it's in. Um, um, any of those notes, you could play it in any position you want. You could play an A, a pentatonic minor, if that's e easier for you, or play it up there. So whatever your, your level is, um, do play a scale and kind of have a go improvising when I get to the solo section, which has no singing. <laughs> Another thing to look at is the time signature. So this song's actually in 6-8. So that's six quaver beats per bar. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is another part of the song that um, will make it kind of dis um, different from other songs. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, It's very um, different to um, a lot of the songs which are normally in sort of four four time or a regular um, time signature. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. If you're singing, it's really high. It goes right up to, to top A for a lot of it. My mama was a tailor, right up there. Um, if you want to sing it in your head voice, so Taylor, you, you can, if you're a um, female singer, then you might find it um, suits your range better. Or you can sing it all in the lower octave. My mother was a tailor, um, which is actually quite low. So the, um, the singer is actually kind of like using a massive, a massive range there, really high and really low. Um, so yeah, that's another kind of really virtuosic part of, of this song. One. This the house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun, and it's been the ruin of many a. God. 
Okay, I hope you found that useful. It's a beautiful little riff. Um, it's quite tricky, so just take your time and enjoy. Bye-bye.